uh, from that to our first story, which is Hanani telling us about people being barred, not from the studio, but from a classroom uh, at the University of Hawaii. Can you tell us about this story that is apparently beginning to uh, shake a few trees on campus? Yeah. Well, here we go again, folks, with racism against Native Hawaiians on the University of Hawaii campus. This story involves two Hawaiian women who were evicted from class uh, by three security guards on order of a geography instructor whose name is Moshe Rapoport. Please remember that name so that you students out there uh, can avoid his classes. Um, he instructed the students, and this occurred in September, uh, in last fall, 1995, September 15th, I believe. He instructed the two sisters to sit apart they refused, and he said, if you don't do it, I will call security. And uh, he did so, and they were escorted from class. Now, um, the precipitating events leading up to this eviction were that the students challenged him uh, on his falsification of Hawaiian history. He had been saying any number of uh, false things about Hawaiian history, including things uh, such as the volcanoes in the um, uh, Big Island did not erupt in this century, which we know is not true. Um, he and, of course, one of the sisters, uh, Melinda Sonoda, had corrected him. Uh, he made other statements regarding uh, Hawaiian infanticide in the summer session when she had taken his class and they had argued about that. And so the sisters were raising questions and challenging him. Now, what's important, I think, for lots of people regarding this case is, let's look at the demographics of the University of Hawaii. Over three quarters of the faculty are white, predominantly white men. Almost 80% of the student body are people of color. There are only 5% of the student body that are Hawaiians. So the imbalance in authority and power is very clear. All you have to do is look at the demographics. The other thing is, we have someone who is entirely unschooled in Hawaiian history, making statements completely out of ignorance about Hawaiian culture, about Hawaiian history, in a geography class. Uh, the first summer class was the geography of Hawaii. The second class was physical geography. Now, geography is supposed to deal with things like topography and uh, climate systems. And so there are questions about the inappropriateness of his comments. But I think what's really crucial here is that the sisters were not allowed what I would call a constitutional right, which is freedom of association, that is the right to sit together. And they were not allowed to argue their point of view, even when he admitted in the first case about the volcanoes erupting. They were not allowed to do that without his harassing of them. And finally, they were humiliated by his calling of the security guards to escort them from class. Now, it's important for people to know that one of the sisters was eight months pregnant at the time. Uh, when they were both escorted from class, they were uh, crying. They were taken to the Center for Hawaiian Studies because they are both Hawaiian Studies majors. Uh, one of them immediately, the pregnant sister, experienced uh, pains. She had to go to the doctor. The other one uh, had to be uh, uh, sort of comforted in our office for a long period of time. Um, the guards who evicted them said, what did you guys do? And they said, nothing. We didn't do anything. We were just sitting together. He ordered us not to sit together. And then you came and told us to leave class. So we're um, alleging that he did this because he is a racist. The students filed a racism grievance uh, with the administration. It's, it's important, I think, for people to understand that we thought, and the sisters uh, uh, gave us the best evidence, that this was racist because of the way he was treating them in class. I mean, other people had raised questions in class that were not Hawaiian, and he didn't evict them. Um, so the grievance was filed by the sisters, and uh, at the first stage, the grievance was denied. In other words, the uh, hearing officer, who was Tom Bopp, who made the decision, who was another white man, by the way, at the University of Hawaii, decided that there was no racism there, that in fact uh, the students didn't themselves believe it was racist who, was, who were in the class. But it's, it's crucial to, to understand that Tom Bopp made this decision based on a survey of the students in the class. The survey was conducted by the geography department. It was kept by the chair of the department, Lyndon Wester, and then a few days later transmitted to Tom Bob. These are all white men. Right? 
the survey was included in the packet that the students got for um, what was involved in the decision making. And the survey said that the sisters argued that this was racist. Moshe Rappaport said it was not. What do you think? Is this racist? Now, that's absurd because apart from the fact that students have not been asked or taught or even discussed the issue of racism, it's not up to the class to decide whether it's racist. The other thing is it was administered by the department whose professor is going to grade them. Um, How many people responded to the survey? How big not the class, very you know? many. In fact, less than half of the students in the class. The class was apparently about 40 people or, or 38 or something like that. And not very many responded. It said you didn't have to respond if you didn't want to, but there was clearly a sense of intimidation there. So what's the next? Is there an appeal then? Uh, yes, there is an appeal and in fact the uh, students are in the process of waiting for a reply. But before I get into that, let me just, before I forget, give everyone a view of the face of racism. This is Moshe Rappaport. Please do look at him. Uh, I want everyone to see what this man is like. Uh, we did have a rally at the university. We held this up. This was taken by students um, so that people can see that these people do have faces. They do have genders. He's a male. He's white. Um, notice he's smiling. I suppose he's very happy about this. Uh, and at the rally, we also led uh, the students to this photograph who came to the rally so they could see what, what this man looked like.